Okay, example two. What? Nothing? Okay. Example two. A y to negative one x plus b z. Now, take a look at this. This has a negative power in it. This one doesn't. But again, step one in the process is any negative powers have to be fixed. So to the left of the plus sign, I need to create a fraction. A and x are behaving themselves. They stay on top. Y belongs in the bottom. To the right of the plus sign, I have a bz with no denominator whatsoever. Again, I can put an over 1 to make it look like a fraction. That's legal to do that. Just know that if you put an over 1, it has no bearing on the least common denominator. All right, so the least common denominator of 1 and y is what? Y. y. Very good, y. Then we have two fractions. Fraction 1 is ax over y. Fraction 2 is bz over 1. And again, every time I look at this, I have to look at what I have, what I want to have, and how did it change. So ax is what the top was before we did anything, right? The denominator was y, and it became y. How did it change? It was y, and it stayed y, so it didn't, it didn't, change. It didn't change, right? So that means that I don't do anything to ax. It just stays ax. No common denominator change. So what it, this is what it was. This is what it still is. The second fraction has bz on top. The denominator was 1. It became y. How did it change? Uh, added y. Increased by y, so we multiply by y. So again, each fraction you have to account for. So in this case, I don't have to do anything, right? It already is what it's supposed to be, so it still is what it was supposed to be, ax over y. This one I needed a times y, so I needed times y on top. So again, any modifications you have to make to create what you want, you have to make the same to the top. If you already have what you want, nothing happens to it. It just stays what it was. And then again, what's left to do is to make it as simple as possible. ax is fine, bzy, I probably go byz all over y. Do not be tempted to reduce things that don't really reduce. Okay, You might say, oh, that has a y and that has a y. Let's cross them out. This doesn't have a y, so it can't reduce by that. All right, I can prove it to you. 4 plus 5 over 10. That equals 9 tenths, right? Mm -hmm. 10 and 5 both reduce by 5. 4 plus 1 over 2 is equal to? Five halves, right? So what I did was I just took that and that and divided both by five to make this happen, right? Five halves and nine tenths, same or different? Different. different? different. So if you try and cancel some but not everything, you create a different expression. So if I try to cancel these y's without affecting that whatsoever, it's going to be wrong. So again, chances are they're not going to reduce. So just leave it as is. If it happened to be x, axy plus byz over y, then of course all the y's cancel at that point. It doesn't happen very often.